Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend what's going on with the stock market on the weekly time frame please subscribe for YouTube channel click like button to support the channel I really appreciate all your efforts let's move to trading view let's start from a stock market heat map it's all USA company based on the market cap and weekly performance. Technology green except Google, right? Or Apple, all technology green, very powerful green. Finance also green, right? Health technology kind of mix. Yeah, the all other sectors also utilities red. Generally a lot of a lot of green, a lot of green stuff. Health services green, industrial services, a lot of a lot of green, very nice. Utility very negative. Utility very negative. And consumer. Consumer are kind of mix. Okay, let's move to my watch list and we will go over and just do technical review analysis. Technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. Uh, there is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. We are going to talk about today about daily and weekly time frame. I am not using weekly time frame for for my training for for trading for swing trading. I am using uh, daily time frame for entry and exit po uh, position. But for some people, for investors weekly time frame very very useful i'm using just uh to money weekly monthly and quarterly just to monitor market trend direction uh let me show you let's start let me briefly mention about my setup i am using moving averages uh sma 200 uh, white line yellow line it's ema 20 red line sma 10 and green line sma 5 let me maximize it a little bit. Also, I'm using a uh, MACD indicator, green line bullish, red line bearish, white line signal line. RSI indicator, yellow line, high Kanachi, green, bar, green bars bullish, red bars bearish. That's all. Very simple, right? And, and let me show you how it works. It's, it works very simple, my simple training style. Look at it, how market started from 2020, right? What happened? You see MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bars moved about 20 when bars above ma5 and and 10 and 20 it is bullish trend look at it, it was bullish trend up to here ma5 green line did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 and moved below 20 when bars bars were below 20 it was it is bearish trend you see it was bearish trend up to here up to January 2023, right? We are talking about queues on the weekly time frame. Uh, on January 2023, January 9, we received bullish crossover. And we actually, yeah, bullish bar, but bullish crossover happened later. It moved, it happened in, in the mid of January. Let me maximize it. You see over here, MA5 green line did bullish crossover over 10 and 20 bars moved about 20. When bars above MA5, 10 and 20, it is bullish trend. And remember, when we do entry, when you do entry over here, when it happened bullish crossover, right? I do put stop one bar before. My protection, one bar. I can lose only one bar. Always use stop. In some cases, I use 1% or one bar. That's what I can lose. And remember, if you will use stop and you will protect your gain, your... Uh, uh, your uh, protect your assets you will be in business forever because you can lose one bar multiple times but you will gain how many 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 bars more like in this case you could lose one bar but like in here you could lose one bar but you can gain multiple multiple bars that's why it's you will stay in business forever Okay, do you see how it works? It's a bullish trend and now last bar disconnected from 10 from 20. Usually when bars disconnected from 20, they always wants to connect back. You see, always wants to connect back to 20. Each time 
bar is disconnected from 20, it comes back to 20, came back to 20, came back to 20 each time. And in this case, it disconnected from 20 and it will come back to 20 also. It will connect back to 20. Yeah, I, the only one thing that I don't know when, <laughs> but it will happen, I know. And the, uh, we don't know the future, no one knows the future. And we trade now based on the historical data that we have, the all indicators based on the historical data, and we, they provide to us probability what can happen uh, from now. We are buying now, we are following now, and we follow the trend, we don't fight with the trend. If market change direction, change the trend, we have to change the trend also, because we cannot fight with the trend. Like here, you see, it was bullish, and suddenly it was sell signal, and MA5 it turn direction, it is bullish, bearish reversal signal. You must to change direction. You cannot stay bullish. You cannot fight against the trend. Similar now. Now it's a bullish until it changes direction. Bullish on all indicators on weekly time frame queues. MACD, look at it. MACD bullish. RSI in very, very overbought state. Very overbought state. And definitely from this overbought state, it always did correction. Like here, look at me. Let me show you. See? This is what's top of the market. And it did correction, right? From the top of the, from the overbought state, it did correction. This is November 2021. And it did correction. And it will be correction again. Again, I, I don't know the time and date, but I know it will happen. The charts shows me that it will be correction. Okay, it is still bullish, bullish, bullish performance. Look at it on the weekly time frame. It's just 2% uh, performance on weekly time frame. On monthly, it's a 6% up, bullish. And now let's, let, yeah, let's check daily also. Let's check daily. Daily, it was bearish, right? My 5 did bearish crossover. And just recently, it did huge jump. It did gap up. And MA5 did bullish, ready for bullish crossover. It didn't confirm, but it's ready for bullish crossover by signal from the script. Looks like it wants to retest the top of the market. It wants to do double, double top. And after that, it can be sell off. MACD is still red, bearish. Haikanachi still bearish. That's what we have. It could be like bull trap, double top, and sell off after that. That's possible. That's what can happen. Okay, now let's move to VXN, volatility indexes. Volatility index is completely disconnected from indexes because no fear on the market. Market completely in extreme greed condition. And it's another sign, when market in extreme greed condition, it usually change direction from the extreme greed. The same market change direction to bullish from the extreme bear, from the extreme fear condition. Same from the extreme green condition, it will change to bearish. That's what we should be ready for it. We should be ready for it. Uh, VXN is trying to do bullish, right? Uh, recently last bar moved to bearish below 20. But all other indicators bullish. SPX, SPX, let's start SPX. S&P 500, you see, it's kind of building the same double top. It's already did. Qs didn't make it yet, but SPY already made, uh, uh, completed double top, uh, double top pattern. From double top, it can do reversal. It's absolutely possible. Nice gap up. This gap will be closed. MACD is still red, bearish, high natural, ready, green, bullish, and RSI decided bullish crossover on daily time frame. It is in a bullish reversal. Could be bull trap also. We'll see. Weekly time frame. Weekly time frame, it is positive. It is positive. It's kind of tested. Maybe they will double tap. Maybe it will retest this level 45. 45.60, now it's a 45.50, right? One more 100. This top, it, yeah, it's a March, March, April. It's already touched April, April, right? Touched already April, it's a March, 
March 2022. Uh, April, I uh, weekly, it, it is still April. It touched April, but it's still, yeah, it can go to March. We'll see. We'll see it's still bullish RSI and very overbought territory. Very powerful bull run, bullish trend on weekly time frame. Weekly time frame very bullish. Let's check VX, VIX volatility index for S&P 500 on weekly time frame. It is bearish, no fear on the market, extreme greed only. Okay, let's move to Dow Jones. Let's start Dow Jones daily. It's kind of similar. Buy signal, MA5 did bullish crossover. Reversal bullish crossover. MACD ready for bullish crossover and Heikonachi RSI bullish reversal. Right, bullish reversal signal on all indicators. It looks like it wants to make a double tap here. We'll see. It created a huge gap up and it's like island reversal, right? It was gap down here and gap up over here. Uh, bullish trend on daily. Let's check weekly. Weekly, it's a nice green bar, bullish bar, right? Bullish bar. But you see, price action it didn't move anywhere based on the price action from from August 22 and the same level from the year. November 22, same level for a year. And let's check performance. Let's see what what's going on with the performance. Weekly time frame. A performance on one week, two percent. On one month, four point and a quarter percent. For Dow Jones, Dow Jones kind of flat. Positive signal, but it's flat. VXD volatility index for uh, for Dow Jones, it's a bearish, disconnected. Also, uh, no. No fear on the market, only greed, only greed. IWM, Russell 2000, daily time frame, it is bullish, look at it. It did double tap also, double to confirm double tap pattern, it can be reversal, can do reversal, we'll see. Buy signal from the script, MA5 did bullish crossover over 10, positive bullish reversal, last bar disconnected from MA5, 10 and 20. MACD is still red, high connection is a bullish reversal signal. Let's move to weekly. Weekly IWM. Last bar week, last week, very powerful. Previous week was very negative, very red. It was minus 3%. This week, plus 3.7%. Three, plus 3 very positive, very nice. And it closed above all moving averages. Because, yeah, it is positive territory now. About MA5, uh, yeah, MA5 did bullish crossover, right? Yeah, green line did bullish crossover. MA20 and 10 still below 200, still in the bearish territory. It's a bullish crossover, it's a nice positive bull run. MACD also did bullish crossover over zero line. Bullish trend on weekly time frame. RVX. RVX. Uh, it's a Russell 2000 volatility index. On yeah, let's check on daily time frame. On daily time frame, it's also negative bearish. It's no fear on the market. Fully disconnected because of the extreme greed. Apple. Let's move to Apple. Apple daily last day plus two pro, two and a quarter percent. It did gap up, it could be ex exhaustion, could be exhaustion bar <laughs> at the end, you know, at the end it is so powerful exhaustion bar and uh, bullish are assigned very overbought state, very bullish on all indicators. Just bearish divergences, actually no, on RSI bearish divergence, no, also destroyed, all the bearish divergences destroyed. Bullish trend on all indicators for Apple. Let's check weekly. Weekly bullish trend. Last bar disconnected from 10 and 20. On the weekly time frame. Yeah, 
Yeah, weekly time frame you see RSI in very overbought state also. Bullish in very overbought state. Apple is so powerful. It's the most powerful uh, stock and the most expensive stock and the most expensive company. Three trillion dollars company in the world. The most expensive company in the world. Apple. Weekly time frame still bullish. Very powerful bullish. No bearish reversal signal yet accept only overbought state indefinitely but it, in overbought state it can stay for a long time you see in overbought state it's already stays stays for last how many from march from march three months already right but it will end it it will not stay it definitely will not stay stay forever usually you see it did get to overbought state and it did sell off from the state each time from the overbought, it, does, it did sell off. But as of now, last three months, it could be exhaustion. You see, when the market does very top, toppy market, top level, it's exhaustion, it's exhaustion level. That's when market can can be uh, so can be reversal, can be reversal, especially because of the uh, extreme ex ex extreme greed index condition let's move to tesla tesla weekly time frame tesla weekly time frame uh, kind of three weeks in a row is the same price action level it's like looks like it's building the top it's a top and it closes this gap you see this gap was closed now it's ready for bearish reversal RSI in overbought state still bullish on weekly time frame Tesla on all indicators. Bullish. Last bar disconnected from 10 and 20 definitely wants to have correction. And perform uh, uh, still yeah, still bullish, right? Let's move to daily daily uh daily it's a different story all indicators bearish even you know ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 ma5 green line still below 10 but last bar did nice bull run it close above all moving averages it is positive by signal but all indicators still in a bearish bearish signal but last bar did nice bullish reversal not confirmed yet it's still positive. You see it left a huge gap over here. And it's huge gap over there. Two huge gaps. One is two below. Two, two huge gaps below. Okay. Daily time frame. That's what we have, right? Now let's move to BABA. Alibaba group. Weekly time frame. Uh, weekly time frame. Let's see. Performance for the Baba on one week minus 3%, monthly minus 5%. On Tesla, we didn't check performance, right? Let's do performance for Tesla. Uh, on weekly, 1%. On, on monthly, plus 31%. Very nice performance. Baba. Let's go back to Baba. Weekly time frame, still bearish, right? Still bearish because last bar still below all moving averages macd red Haikanachi, all indicators red i believe it it wants to go bearish and retest this recent low just do double bottom and from that it will go bullish so far it's still bearish on weekly time frame let's check daily daily it is bearish also because last bar below all moving averages all indicators bearish Nvidia, Nvidia daily time frame last Friday it closed 3.6 percent bullish, and let's see performance. Weekly performance just flat minus quarter percent, monthly performance plus seven percent. Daily time frame you see it was bearish, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10, and it's still bearish. MACD, Hikanachi, RSI, all indicators still bearish. But last bar, it was last day, it was kind of nice buy signal, powerful day, 
but it did touch 10. It can be rejected from 10 or, or it can continue to go bullish. We'll see. But so far, all indicators signals still signals still bearish. But signals still bearish. Uh, not signals there. Indicators trend still bearish. Last signal is positive because the last the last green bar was by signal. I still believe it can be rejected and maybe it will even move and to test the do double top and will be rejected. But still, it's still very weak. Still very weak, but uh, while it's about MA20, it is still bullish. Be fully bearish reversal signal when bar moves below 20. So far, last bar above all moving averages, it is positive even all signals are negative. And weekly, weekly NVIDIA is bullish, last bar it's a tail bar. It's kind of positive, bullish tail bar. Um, last bar far from 10 and 20, very disconnected from 10 and 20, but trend is still bullish, RSI in very overbought condition, very overbought state, right? Very overbought state on other side wants to have some correction. Connect back to 20. This is the white box. It's a huge 20% gap, $60 gap. I still believe it will be closed because this level it's a lot of resistance. At this level around 280, 300, it definitely will retest, close this gap and retest this level. This level you see, it's a lot of resistance around 288, 300. Uh, that's all from NVIDIA, performance like I told you already, 7% monthly and month and weekly flat. And let's check USA dollar, USA dollar weekly, uh, it's still last bar below 20, it is still, it's still weak position because it's below 20, sell signal from the script, MACD is still green and RSI is still bullish, still positive. Indicator is still positive, but position of the last bar is negative. It's weekly, right? And daily, daily it was red bar last Friday, but it's still about kind of it close at 20. It's still positive because MA5 did by bullish crossover by signal, and all indicators kind of positive bullish. Still in the bearish territory below 200, but with the positive signal. That's all. That's all. Let's do conclusion summary. Market very powerful, very bullish, very attractive, and at the same time, it's very overbought on all indicators. And also, uh, it's very an extreme grid condition. Usually, from the extreme grid condition, market uh, in a from the history always did bearish reversal but it can stay in, in extreme grid condition for some time and even longer it's not happened like overnight and tomorrow it can stay for longer it can it can change direction tomorrow also but it can stay longer and remember we are in the third quarter in the summer the third quarter to quarter is the most the most weakest quarter of the year it's based on seasonality right we just completed first quarter and second quarter, the most powerful quarters, and the third one is the most weakest quarter. And just be, be ready and be aware about that. Anything can happen. But still, trend is bullish on all for all equities in my list. And this was driven, this, this bull was driven just by seven companies, seven largest company in the world. Like I told, told you, Q's, uh, not Q's, Apple, two trillion, uh, three trillion dollars company, right? Like Microsoft, the second one, like two point, uh, two point seven trillion dollars. Like Amazon, Apple, Google, uh, not Apple, Google, Meta, Nvidia now is one trillion dollar company. Just se seven of them drives the market up. 
that's all that's all thank you so much let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only and remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading account please read disclaimer thank you for watching simple trading style video i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs cryptos and indexes tomorrow i will publish monthly update please don't miss it please watch it and thank you so much for all your efforts and good luck bye now